That said, there's been some confusion on the Cobalt SS forums with regard to airflow through our cold air in intake system with or without our dry flow synthetic air filter. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to demonstrate the relationship between airflow and vacuum through our cold air intake system on our flow bench. Uh, what, what I'm going to do is get the flow bench up to 300 CFM and we're going to take a look at the vacuum through the system. Here we go. All right, we're at 300 CFM and as you can see, we're at about 8.1, 8.2 inches of vacuum with the filter. Now what I'll do is I'll remove the filter and you'll see an increase in vacuum. All right, still at 300 CFM, but now we're climbing up to about 8.3, 8.4 inches of vacuum. Put the filter back on. And the vacuum or restriction drops back down. Now to further, further illustrate that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict the flow by covering the filter and try to achieve that same amount of vacuum. So I'm placing the sleeve over the filter, and as you can see, I've got to get almost halfway down the filter to replicate the same amount of vacuum we saw before without the filter. So this is the same as running without a filter. Take that off, and the vacuum drops right back down. Now here's why. The air filter shapes the flow of the air through the cold air intake system. It does that with this contour here inside the base of the filter. It also does this with the shape of the, of the pleats themselves. So what you're doing is you're taking airflow and shaping it into a pipe instead of having to cut across the hard edge of a pipe and create a boundary layer or turbulence along the edge. This is a feature of all of our AEM conical filters.